What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Tesla's options analysis. So I'll take you over a couple of charts, the data and I'll be drawing a confluence together with the options and the technicals of the stock itself. I did a video on Tesla technicals this morning so check that out as well. And, um, and I'll be putting this confluence with the technicals here together with the options and will be able to identify which options are worth playing and may make money and what is the probability sentiment on the calls and the put side technically which are being favorable and if these options needs to be favorable what Tesla and the technicals have to change to do that okay I'll be providing my opinion and that would be it so with that I also want to let you know that none of this is any financial advice only for education purposes you are solely responsible for your on financial decisions and outcomes so let's begin guys um so what i want to first show you is a bit of sentiment now black line is where the current price is okay that vertical line the closing price and then green are the calls expiration 19th of april and the red are the puts okay now the thing is that interestingly um i'll take you some lot more data over here but what i want to first focus on is that because i'm seeing some high numbers beyond even what i have just on my chart i could only squeeze so much and i expect tesla price to move within this range of you know maybe up to 205 or down to 145 going into this week so i just kept it these data on the chart but i'll take you over before and after those a price points as well because I do see a lot of uh, options interest in that fashion as well. So, okay, let's start off here real quick. So, interestingly, what I'm seeing so far is the calls at $200 really is outnumbering anything else here on the chart. Like, this is great to see, though. This, as a bull, yeah, this is great to see. We only have some $150 puts in high quantity besides the one at 170, but these could be more like, you know, just for trading purposes, right? Because these are also coming in from, some could be rolled over as well to this expirations, right? So, but this is what we have in the data. I do see some puts already in the money over here uh, at $175 and $180, okay? Um, so these could be uh, rolled over as well but as for going in right now um, I will be more focusing towards out of the money calls and puts because that's where there is more chances that you would make net money right because you are paying in the money calls and options are expensive as well right so it's also about risk you know where, where the most risk is right so you have to find the things that uh suits best for how much you are risking risk to reward ratio right okay but anyways so good to see as for the overall sentiment and i'll be taking this chart adding data of the options day by day as we go through the week and i'll talk about it in my videos as we go through the week as well but so far here options on the call side are looking great um it shows us that where the traders are betting and seems like there's a positive sentiment going into this week at least at 200 dollars range so that's amazing. Now, I want to take you back here actually on this data and I want to talk about some of the things here. The I'm seeing at $80 puts a spike of 12,000 open interest. So, yeah, that's quite strange because I don't think this is ever going to happen this week. So, that's that's surprising, okay? I, these are pretty much the long long time hope puts holder, I think pretty much. I'm seeing some spike at $140 as well with 14,000, right? Um, just like we, well, 145, I have it, yeah, I have it here, 15,145. So you can see that there is some spike at uh, 140 as well at 14,000. There is another spike around 125 and 122. But I'm not too worried about it. I don't think Tesla is going to go that low this going into this next week, okay? Um, but yeah, so something just to keep that in mind. Now let's talk about the closer to the current price. Oh, well, before that, actually, I want to show you calls as well. This is strange because look at this $240 call at 20,000 open interest, right? And this $200 I already showed you on my chart, so high sitting. That's great as a bull, right? 51,000. 
and then 250 is 19,000, just shy of 20,000. So you can see there's some $300 call sitting at 17,000 in open interest. So this this could be very likely, guys, the uh, long term, you know, expiring this uh, particular uh, day, 19th of April. But let me check the date. I'm, yeah, I have the right date over there. Oh, wow. This is quite, quite interesting, eh? Okay, so let's talk about the options which and you know my opinion as well like which would make sense can are they playable uh, is there a possibility of making money on these right so this is where price closed just around 171 right in the center and so let's talk about is $170 strike price is a possibility which is to make money on this is 166 technically you know you would need to cut down the down payment so let's go to the technical. So $166, is that a possibility? We'll have to go to the hourly interval to talk about that. So guys, 166 here, this, oh wow, at a significant level as well. Guys, this is possible. When I say possible, and the Tesla, if Tesla breaks this trend line, again, it all depends on how it reacts around this level so to go down there though tesla still have technically this bullish trend as, as i said check out my morning video that will give you a lot of context on it on tesla but 166 is not that far if tesla just has to have to give one confirmation losing this trend line and losing 169 which is same zone almost just a dollar if tesla is going to break break this trend line it's very likely going to move more than a dollar it moves like six seven dollars in a day so that's the average range you can see on my dashboard here 7.9 dollars usually average range and yeah so 166 no doubt that it this can come if this breaks this trend line and starts to go lower and starts lose level by level so it's not out of the question not out of the picture okay let's talk about where's the another high interest so 36,000 open interest 150 dollars puts now this is questionable um, 150 so how much is it going for first let's take a look at that it's just 17 cents so 17 dollars right the risk uh, not bad but would you want to is it even gonna hit or 17 dollars are just gonna go to the waste right so let's see 36,000 at 17 so let's just keep it 150 149 to make money on it and that would be yeah guys i don't think so this is coming down here that's that's i think technically not likely okay here's the thing the risk is only 17 dollars if you are a bear you know um tesla needs to lose this area this is a good support right now right this 164 dollars range i would say likelihood of this happening is very low if this would have been a week of earnings which is the week after the next or this coming week after this um then um i could have said hey if the earnings if the tesla if tesla stock would have been crawling its way here then if earnings would not have been loved by investors then yes this would have been the possibility to make money yes but this week for the expiration of the next week these options now uh not that likely i think these there's less likelihood of this happening just my opinion though if price starts to break on monday or tuesday 164 likelihood will increase but right now i if if next week we had tesla earnings then i would say hey if you're a bear it's just going for 17 dollars options for 149 or 150 in other words if you want to gamble 17 dollars sure go ahead do the gamble and if it comes if earnings doesn't come great boss doesn't like it you might end up making money but not for this week um, because we don't have earnings this week. We have the week after this week. So, all right. So that's my opinion on the puts options down there because I'm just picking up on the ones which have most open interest here, right? Um, I talked about 170 already. Let's take a look at one more, the third last, and that is 28,000 open interest, $160. How much they're going for? Mm, $76 total. So. 76 cents so to make money on these let's say 159 right so 159 is right around here huh again it's the same thing look this 
this all depends on Monday if it starts to lose this trend line and breaks the level of 169 yeah this will 159 may come possible okay so 149 is like i'm like guys this is out of the question in my opinion but 166 area around and 159 as if it continues to break those levels just above we have right significant level or just the, even the trend line up here right uh, and that's where the problem is we'll start to make lower lows then right so yep that's my opinion with that one 160 dollars puts okay let's talk about some of the calls so i'm seeing good amount of calls sitting at 175 going for well you know what guys this is not going for bad price though because we are not too far away from it may look like we are far away 177 one and 175 so to make money on this you need 177 guys but tesla is still intraday uptrend if it holds this trend line and you know if it gets above 173 and 175 sorry even just getting above 200 hours moving average is going to put it above 20 days moving average there is very likelihood that uh oops sorry not this chart this 175 not looking bad to me in my opinion with open so in my opinion they may end up making money these calls this is not a bad call option right now i mean depends on which price you get it at you can see these are negative because calls because the price is lower going down but um but anyways that's something you have to check on your options chain with the broker um yahoo finance is uh more good for the uh you know the data and it's in itself but you have to check your options analysis what price you are getting in at you have to see your broker chain for that Okay, so $180, is that a possibility? 36,000 sitting call over there, $1, going for $1, not bad. How much, is, sorry, what the price was? 180, right? So to make money on this 181, yep, it's, it's a possibility. It all depends on if it can recapture this 200 hours moving average. Um, and if Tesla can do this on Monday, 180 calls looks great as well to me not a not a problem the problem is actually on the call side with this 200 dollars calls just it's it's not bad it's just going for eight dollars guys right now right one contract i mean okay when i say eight dollars it means just one contract and this is what at uh open interest of fifty one thousand. yeah that's quite a lot that's the highest i have seen on the call side right now you know, if you have just $8 sitting around and you just want to go one contract in, I mean, you would spend $8, what, just filling up your gas car if you have a gas car, right? Or you would spend $8, what, just uh, uh, just going out and eating in Starbucks or whatnot, right? So, yeah, like this is in some places, you know, whole pretty much one-way transit system or a whole day of, you know, um, something, right? Yeah, eight dollars. You would even not even know where you would spend it. I'm I'm not saying to buy it, but I'm just saying like, is is it worth the gamble? That's the point. But if it's just worth the gamble, I would say one hundred and ninety, twenty one dollars. You know, if you just wanna, again, yeah, that's the thing, right, guys? Options are. That's why I like to trade shares because I can trade with the technicals quite easily, in and out easily. You know, I don't have to worry about degradation and all of that. But, um, but anyways, so two hundred dollars is that a problem let's see i would say eight dollars is not a problem to gamble on it on a contract but is that a possibility two hundred dollars and above we are very far actually from this guys and tesla has a lot of resistance to get out of first you know 175 first 185 as well level by level this is possible and that's why i like to trade with the shares but options are asking me a guarantee they are not gonna allow me to make money throughout the journey that much what i can make through shares so in my opinion i'm not too confident if that 200 dollars options is gonna make good money but it's going for so cheap and there's huge open interest there just because there's open interest doesn't mean price is gonna go there i'm you know anything to the upside i would you know um this is going for 100 180 dollars depends on 175 if it goes up 
That's the thing guys, as soon as Tesla can get above this 200 hours moving average at 173 and most importantly above $175 together with closing and going above, wait, going above that 20 days moving average, right? Uh, right over here. If Tesla can do all of this, we just want to get above 175 to put it simply. All the upside calls are possible. If you are in the put side, you don't want to hold Tesla on the put side if Tesla crosses above 175. And you definitely don't want to hold on the put side if Tesla gets above 50 days moving average. And you don't want to be on the call side if Tesla breaks that trend line, the one that we have on the hourly interval, this, this trend line. Yeah, if Tesla breaks this trend line, guys, then there is no point in staying in any of the calls. It's just a puts game. Okay, dokie. Well, guys, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe. I'll be covering a lot of these options with my Tesla, you know, daily analysis, going over the options, how things are looking like technically, where the increment is happening, you know, decrement is happening and all of that. A lot of, you know, options that helps you to just understand the market sentiment, right? But I just stick with the technicals for the proper trading. So. Okay, I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye.